How's it going, everyone? Well, it's OG here, and today I'm bringing you uh, another brand new series. This is a multi-class uh, Cadillac and Kia. I am in the Kia. Cadillacs are in the um, NA rear-wheel drive. Big beefy V8, I think, or V6, boys. Probably V8. Definitely V8. Um, and then here we go. Our turbo two liters here. It's a fun one. But today's topic. Let's go. Isn't the new series and how much I like it or anything like that. It's consistency. And also, being able to change my pants when uh, racing, because locking up there, going almost straight into the back of the four, would have been absolutely terrifying. Left side. Still there. But also the fact that we locked up like that Clear left. should be a little bit of a notation as to what I'm talking about. There's a few things when it comes to uh, consistency. I have been pretty proud of myself. Um, nice one, Wallace. Good start. After I really get behind a couple races and whatnot, and all the games that I've been playing so far, and by all of them I mean Gran Turismo and I racing, when I put like a few hours in, There's an incident in the hairpin. You know, you start building up the the muscle memory of the tracks and whatnot. You can even switch cars a couple times, and you can still kind of you'll have something really good by the end of the day. Hopefully, that's kind of the the goal there, right? Um, it's at Okayama International, which I did a lot in Miata a couple weeks ago. I saw this here, and I didn't really feel like doing anything else, so I was like, hey, you know, let's go into here. I have a whole lot of trouble with understeer, oversteer, wheel spin, and lockups. Because I don't really finesse that well. Um, thankfully, I have some some new kit and it helps me out with that with some better feeling and everything because the direct drive wheel definitely lets me know when I have no traction <laughs> but um yeah it's uh it's definitely something where you need to learn quickly on the fly and needless to say I learned as quickly as possible on the fly because I think um, I'm not sure if it's like the fastest lap of the race necessarily. Well, but then again, I could just see it on the other side. But this is my fastest lap right here that you're watching by I think like a pretty decent margin. In exception that there is still the rest consistent. The reason really needed consistency here is uh, this was a timed race I think this was like 25 minutes I hadn't been in this category before I had no idea if I was going to be dealing with the Cadillacs more or less because it's kind of surprising that they're still here realistically just because they're not supposed to be these guys are supposed to be long gone by now um, the field gets lapped like the entirety of the field does get lapped Including myself, but, you know, it was like right at the end anyway, so we're going to count it as, uh, I was okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Aside from lap one, which, obviously, uh, it is what it is. The rest of the laps that, um, you may see slash Incident are not going to corner. see, actually, because I did cut them. Because it's a long race, and I'm not going to force you to sit through 25 minutes a lot of them are uh, close to your times are good in all three sectors time. and the thing that left really side. needed to be learned Clear here left. was don't overwork the tires because it's a timed race figure out how much force you actually need to apply when Car braking right. and when accelerating Still because there. that was Clear something right. that took me a minute right. to actually figure out. Right Not an actual clear. literal minute, but a good amount of time within this race. It was about 40 to 45% break, maybe. Maybe in the 30s, actually. To not lock up. 
because I just locked up right there. Kind of testing the waters a little bit. It wasn't you know, like really, really working out all that well, but it was kind of okay. Um, also, understeer. Huge amounts of understeer that I needed to figure out. Um, the gap behind is now 2.9. It was, it's, yeah, I don't know, but it's fun. <laughs> And that's why I like making the videos. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, some of these races I don't necessarily think are super entertaining. But um, it's not that I hate what it is. It's just I wish I was better at it. But I'm happy that I can get races like this in. Pull some stuff, mate. Keep it coming. And I'm happy that I can like go. provide it. It's just it, it's a grand old time to be for that. Perfectly honest with first you. Corner. But for now, we're definitely gonna we're currently start the pace. skipping up a bit. And when I'm saying consistency, by the way, this is my first time in this car. Just remember that. First time in this car. Okay? So, I'm gonna count within a second as consistent for this one. I'd say it's pretty okay. That's pretty decent, at least in my book. I mean, obviously, later on down down the road, you know, at the end of the year, I'm going to look back at these videos. Because React content is going to be a thing, still, till the end of time. It's heavy in, in the current meta right now, just to let y'all know. There's an incident in. If you couldn't, corner. you know, already tell, but... Yeah. We're now skipping ahead. After this, uh, this little bit here. setting the pace. Dog is angry about something, unfortunately. But we skip ahead. You're in the lead. He can we can break what he wants. We still skip ahead. 141s. 140s. We're quickest at the moment. Your lap time we was 140.3. We just keep going. 141s on this one. We skip the head even more. I think this end also yeah, it's just just done a 141.6. That's a great one. If you also notice down on the relative, first place of the Cadillacs is also behind me. So it was the second place for the Kias and the second place for the Cadillacs. So it was a... This is a fun ending. This does end up being the last lap, though. Um... You might see just a little Pass more finesse on the, the gas and the brake here for this one. Because at the end of it, I could definitely tell that my tires were, were gone. And you'll see it right here, breaking into the hairpin. is a massive lift and coast before uh, actually downshifting. And then waiting for the car to completely turn in. I'm also like trying to be conscious of the Cadillac behind me just... Just because I know I, he needs to pass like in a pretty decent spot. But then I looked back and I saw that second place for him again um, is... Okay, uh, Wallace. Yeah, you've got he's, he's not coming up. Unless I ruin this guy's race. Which I think obviously his, his laps were a lot faster than this. Uh, I wasn't just... I'm, you know, I'm not going to block him. I'm not going to get caught by my guy. Or at least I was hoping I wasn't going to get caught by my guy, because uh, I was cutting a little bit close, <laughs> considering I didn't have that big of a lead. Um, although it didn't really matter after uh, 26 minutes. We come home in uh, first. Perfect drive, absolutely and flawless. And you'll see here in a moment how exactly I feel about coming in first. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you folks, I do fist pump, and I do go a little insane, but uh, as you can see over here, look at this, 140s, 140, 141, 40, 40, 41, 41, 41, nah, there's a 42 in there, don't worry about that one, 41, 41s, 41s, <gasps> consistency, in my book at least, alright, alright, don't, don't kill me.